It's starting to become light jacket weather, but the weather may be warmer for the few uh, for a few more days. Let's turn to meteorologist Howie Gordon for a look at the weather and Howie. It was cool this morning at some of those parades. It was our fall weather has definitely arrived, but I think it was pretty quite uh, super comfy and cool. And our temperatures tonight actually should uh, rapidly dr drop a little bit with a limited cloud cover as Joplin's at 53 right now. Parsons is at 51. Rogers is at 55. We're at 61 in Cassville. And the Osho is at 54 degrees right now. So by midnight, we'll be at 50 degrees, mild and clear with winds out of the north at 5 miles per hour. By 8 o'clock in the morning, 49 degrees. Average low, uh, with a wind chill, maybe a 42 degrees. And then by 4 o'clock, 68 degrees, sunny, cool. Winds out of the north from 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now, it's, um, it's pretty cool, but will an end to this fall weather come, uh, will it get warmer? More details in my full forecast coming up in just a little bit, Brian. All right, great. Thanks, Howie. Now in high definition, you're watching KODE Action 12 News, the weekend edition with Brian McLoon, meteorologist Howie Gordon, and Derek Smith. Turning back to Howie Gordon for a look at our weather. Howie. Well, October started us off with uh, a taste of fall weather, but could we potentially be back in the 80s again and have some rain by midweek? Details coming up in my full forecast next. But first, Here's a look at today's weather almanac. And now, your storm tracker forecast with meteorologist Howie Gordon. September ended on a warm note, and October began on a cool note. Will we warm up again? Well, let's see, but first let's check out some current conditions. As we look at our fast cast, by midnight we'll be under clear skies with a temperature of 50 degrees. Now by eight o'clock in the morning, 48 is our normal low, but that's usually about two, three hours before that, so that's quite chilly, but with that north wind at five miles per hour, actually with the wind chill, it'll feel more like it's in the lower 40s that time of morning. And by four o'clock, we will warm up to 68 degrees under partly sunny to mostly sunny skies. Now, with the limited cloud cover, I expect this to cool off quite rapidly, as right now in Joplin, we're at 53. Miami's at 48. Coffeeville's at 52, with Parsons at 51. And the Osho's at 54, with Monette at 52. And the hot spot in Cassville at 61 degrees right now. Now, for a regional satellite radar view, as you see behind me to our east in the Ohio Valley, there's some rain taking place. But we are being protected right now in the four states by high pressure that's keeping everything from the east and from the west from moving into our area. Now, you see the low pressure out here in Colorado. That's bringing some rain, and there's some moisture out ahead of it with, with a boundary that's stretching from Texas through Oklahoma, through Kansas, and up to Nebraska, producing some rain. For our national satellite radar view, we have some cool, a cooler air mass that's hanging out over the four states. It's supposed to be around probably through Sunday, but in the next couple days, this ridge of high pressure is going to start building into the area, bringing up this warm southerly flow from the Gulf of Mexico, bringing our temperatures right around 80 or warmer by midweek. There's a front out west here in the Pacific Northwest, but that is probably projected to stay to the south of us. So the next really real big player, there should be a system materializing out in the Pacific Northwest that can make its way into the four states probably later in the week, once again, lowering our temperatures and maybe Maybe even bringing us some rain, but with a limited moisture, not going to be not going to be anything heavy or a wash up. For our future cast, we look pretty good tonight at 11 o'clock. Now, as we make our way towards Sunday morning, there is an upper level low over here that's throwing some clouds back our way, so it's clouding up on us a little bit. But then by Sunday evening, they dissipate a little bit, they kind of break up, and I'm fully expecting Sunday to be very similar to what we had today for our Saturday, maybe just a few, de few degrees warmer, though. But our future cast, here we go. We're in the mid-40s to lower 50s in the morning, and then by the heat of our day, I'm expecting us to be in the mid to upper 60s, 60s but... And the eastern part of the four states here, we might not even see 60 as some of this cloud cover hangs out and blocks the sun from warming up that part of the, part of our area. Now for our high in Joplin for our Sunday, we're looking at a high of 68 degrees, sunny and cool with winds out of the north from five to 10 miles per hour. For our three day, 
Monday's gonna be a little warmer with a high of 74 degrees, and we warm up a little more into Tuesday with almost a temperature of 80 degrees. Now, as we, as we look at our seven day, we warm up even further as Wednesday we make it to 80 degrees and with a low of 60, but then come Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we're gonna have rain on two of those days, but at the same time, our normal temperatures right now for October, high of 71, low of 49. So there's a couple rain days in there, but kind of warm, so I'll take these uh, nicer days, no more jacket for a couple of days for yeah, you, Brian. The, yeah, the slight, uh, slight up uh, increase in weather. Not the consistency you like, but uh, I'll take the warmer weather, right? I'll take it too. All right, great, thanks, Thank Howie. You. A little bit cooler than what we normally have, but it's still a beautiful day outside. I was out there this morning uh, watching those parades. Uh, brought back a little nostalgia uh, with the homecoming. I never went to homecoming as a, as a high school kid. But, uh, <laughs> really? Uh, that's a, that's a story I thought you for, been asked all the time. Uh, Freshman through senior year. <laughs> that's a story for another day. But uh, yeah, definitely a, a beautiful day out. What I noticed is a lot of people, they watch football, they were outside, and they're sunburned. Because you're thinking, oh, it's so cold out or whatever. I'm not going to get any sun. But the sun, you, you're out there for five, six hours. Well, you're you talking about me. I know, no, no, I know. I'm not just talking about you. Well, no, I thought, yeah, I thought you were directed to me. No, I was, no, I, I saw a lot Missouri of other Southern people earlier. from my bike and run this morning. And he was poking fun at me because I got a little sunburned. So I had to kind of cover that up. But uh, a little raccoon eye action, too, I guess you could say. I wasn't just referring to you. A lot of people I saw, seriously, they're glowing red because, you know, they didn't put the sunblock on. That's a conversation for them. All right, we'll uh, see you back here tomorrow.